S is a geometric sequence. Given that root x minus 1, 1 and root x plus 1 are the first three terms of S, find the value of x. You must show all your working. So the first thing we need to know for this question is what a geometric sequence is. So a geometric sequence is a sequence in which each term is multiplied by a common ratio to give the next term. So an example of this is the sequence 1, 3, 9 and 27, in which each term is multiplied by 3 to give the next term. So now with this knowledge we can start working out the question. So we've been told that term 1 is root x minus 1. We've been told that term 2 is 1 and then term 3 is root x plus 1. So if we let k be our common ratio, then this means that root x minus 1 multiplied by k gives us 1. And then 1 multiplied by k gives us root x plus 1. So we can form an equation from these. So if we start with term 1 and 2, we've just worked out that root x minus 1 multiplied by k will give us the second term, which is 1. So now in order to work out the value of x, we're going to want to substitute something in place of this k here. So if we look at the second and third term and use a similar process, then this tells us that 1 multiplied by k will be equal to root x plus 1. And 1 multiplied by k is equal to k. So now what we can do is we can substitute root x plus 1 in place of this k here. And this gives us that root x minus 1 multiplied by root x plus 1 is equal to 1. And if we simplify this down, then root x multiplied by root x gives us x. Root x multiplied by 1 gives us root x. Negative 1 multiplied by root x gives us negative root x. And then negative 1 multiplied by 1 gives us negative 1. And this is all equal to 1. And we can cancel out these two middle root x terms because root x minus root x gives us 0. And this tells us that x minus 1 is equal to 1. And if we add 1 to both sides, this tells us that x is equal to 2. And this is our final answer. Now this question is worth 3 marks. We'll get our first mark for forming an equation from the sequence. Our second mark for substituting in x plus 1 in place of the k and our third mark for the correct answer. Show that the fifth term of s is 7 plus 5 root 2. So in part a of the question, we were told that term 1 is root x minus 1, term 2 is 1, and then term 3 is root x plus 1. And we worked out that x was equal to 2. So this means that term 1 is equal to root 2 minus 1, Term 2 is equal to 1, term 3 is equal to root 2 plus 1, and then we don't know term 4 and 5. However, what we do know is to get from one term to the next, we need to multiply the term by a common ratio, which we labelled k. So in part a, we said that k was equal to root x plus 1, and if we worked out that x was equal to 2, then this means that k was equal to root 2 plus 1. So what this means is that root 2 minus 1 multiplied by root 2 plus 1 gives us 1, and then 1 multiplied by root 2 plus 1 is equal to root 2 plus 1. Now what it also means is to get from term 3 to 4, we need to multiply root 2 plus 1 by root 2 plus 1. So this means that term 4 is equal to root 2 plus 1 multiplied by root 2 plus 1. Now we can either work this out on our calculator or do it by hand. And if we don't use a calculator, 
The way we're going to do this is first multiply root 2 by root 2, which gives us 2. Root 2 multiplied by 1 gives us root 2. 1 multiplied by root 2 gives us root 2. And then 1 multiplied by 1 gives us 1. And if we simplify this down, this gives us 2 root 2 plus 3. And this is our fourth term. So now we can use the same process to get from term 4 to term 5. So term 5 will be equal to term 4, which is 2 root 2 plus 3, multiplied by our common ratio, which is root 2 plus 1. So we can use the same process as before. So 2 root 2 multiplied by root 2 will give us 2 multiplied by 2. 2 root 2 multiplied by 1 will give us 2 root 2. 3 multiplied by root 2 gives us plus 3 root 2. And then 3 multiplied by 1 gives us 3. So 2 multiplied by 2 gives us 4. 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 gives us 5 root 2 plus 3. And if we simplify this down, this gives us 7 plus 5 root 2. And this is the value which they wanted us to prove that the fifth term was equal to. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get our first mark for using the common ratio to work out one of the following terms. And our second mark for showing that the fifth term is 7 plus 5 root 2 with the supporting evidence.